yeah, because well, the reason I ask is because the um, the diff- there's different types of magic that I could, or I guess technology, I guess that I could mm-hmm. have. And there's body, heart, and mind. With body, I get um, an increase to my attacks. With heart, I get um, a little bonus to any healing that I do. And then with mind, I get to choose. I get to have a um, a starting spell or um, or one of the advanced moves. It's only one though. It's elementary. Yeah, uh, my damage die is just a d6, so I don't think I'm gonna be fighting all we're gonna be speaking but yeah but how are we gonna be mafia if we're not like threatening yeah. people? You know? well that, that's what but the, i got the charisma yeah you gotta figure out your dynamic so he's the face then also if he's a charisma guy he's sort of the talker so i mean you being some kind of muscle isn't a bad idea uh, but healing is you know you guys know how healing is kind of can be kind of few and far between sometimes well, I could do healing no matter what. This is just gives me a bonus. So when I heal someone, I have if I if I do a seven to nine, I get you know negative, and I only get one d six healing that I can do to someone. But if I have the heart, that I get two d six, or I can choose to ignore the negative effect. I can still heal. It just makes it better, you know. And the same thing with the with the um, my attacks. I can still use an element attack. I just I get more damage. I get an extra D8 and my and my HP is up by goes up by two, which also was probably good, right? Uh, also, uh, body you roll white with wisdom and black with intelligence, increase your damage die to a D8. Yeah. That makes then, me like a fightery version of it, and, the, and you get two HP. Heart cast both with icy and it makes it a little more focused so the body is the trade-off is is actually combat boosts like being more be having a bigger damage die and getting hp yeah so that i can go a little bit lower on you know strength or in, in constitution right if i had that one so i could max out and put a little wisdom yeah, but you have to do both to do one. Yeah, it also gives you the option to just kind of fuck off on one category of magic too. Like you could go with that build, you could go strength or dex and wisdom or intelligence and be combat and one side of the magic. Ooh, so just black magic or what? Just white magic? You know, and you could still do the spells. You just won't be very good at them. You know, like I suck ass at white magic, but I can, or or what, or be like a fighter healer and be like strength, D eight damage, two extra HP, and the ability to heal. You know, you could be like a tank. I I'm still just, think I could kind of get a little a little tanky. I'm just spitballing different ways you could use the character though, but because there's yeah. this, that's the cool thing about the way that this character's made is you can be. Now, one another if, question. So, if I'm doing an attack with my magic strike. And it's a distance attack. Do I have to still roll dexterity for the shot, or is it only going to be whatever my magic? Um... That'll be a magic roll. Yeah. Okay, so dexterity. So I can have my dexterity lower. My magic. Okay. If you're using, yeah, if you're planning to make that your main damage output, yeah, you don't need the dex for that or strength for that. That it'll always be the magic skill. Oh yeah, the fragment of your soul into a weapon. I forgot all this is a cool class. Yeah. Okay. I actually think I'm gonna go with mind, actually. Um Okay, you're gonna go black you'd be kind of black magic focused. Well no, mind is it's both white and, and black is it's just with intelligence focused. Oh intelligence focused, that's right. So real smart, not that wise. Um and then I'm gonna pick up another I'm gonna pick up a um a black magic move instead of the elementary. Advanced spells, I see. Which one are you getting? I am going to get, because I think I can have some fun with it, the levitate. And then last thing I had a question on, race. I do get bonuses for being elf, human, or dwarf. Um, I know we kind of had some ideas about, like, you know, the different planets having different things. Which one was the extra gravity? Uh, gamma. No, yeah, uh, gamma. Yeah, gamma. Gamma. So gamma, gamma could high be radiation. And high radiation. And strong gravity, yeah. Is that what we're starting at? Industrial planet. Um, well, that's a conversation we need to have exactly where we're put placing. I know what the neighborhood you're in is like. I just don't know which planet it's on yet. I'm not sure. Um, just... Because I was going to say, could that be like the equivalent of a 
a dwarf and then we can have definitely yeah I don't, um what's the tech planet the, yeah and then deltas can be, can be all, yeah deltas Delta. can be elves and and then like beta and earth two or whatever can be humans yeah yeah that works for your your character for the these ones that have the classic cool because i'm I, okay then i'm going to do the tr- i think i'm going to do the troll or not the troll i think i'm going to do the dwarf but it says it gives a forceful tag to us uh um hack and slash yeah yeah hack and slash what does the forceful tag do forceful tag uh it means your hits are supposed to like fuck more shit up in a like a role play sense like um so kind of like you can try to parlay that into like well i have the forceful tag so i'm gonna try to hit this guy and make him move back or i'm gonna try to hit this thing and smash it and like remind me you have the forceful tag you know so it's sort of like an rp tool to use like that actually i think i'm gonna go with elf because then I can find out people's alignments by asking you, and that'll oh. be that'll be kind of cool. That's some detective shit, yeah. Maybe that's part of their technology. Like they have greater technology. Maybe you're like gl- like fucking basic vision equipment. Like lets you read pulse and heart rate, you know, heart rate and sweat glands. You kind of like lie detector test people or something. And then did you pick alignment? I mean, we're bad guys, right? We're baddies. All of those could be bad guys. Neutral, lawful, and chaotic could all be bad. Guys. Bad to the bone. Because like lawful, because it could be lawful to your family and the rules of the fucking mafia you're in, and like being that super like you know fascist style mafioso, and like chaotic is wild card crazy guy, you know. And I think I like- personally am gonna. I think I'm gonna be chaotic this time. I'm going full on full baddie because I've I've already kind of cut a backstory. I want to be since people are taller on my planet. I'm still obviously going to be taller than most people, but I want to have like a little man's complex because I'm short for my planet. Oh yeah. And like, so like, like Joe Pesci type, like, <laughs> like that's my, what I'm going for, you know, Okay, Anthony. but I'm, but I'm normal sized, but I have that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like the height of a regular human. Yeah. But on my planet, I'm the, like the shortest, like you're shorter. You know, than I'm like five, two. Short. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. What's your character's name? I was thinking of just doing like a super Italian name. Yeah? Something ridiculous, you know? Parmesan rigatoni. Yeah, exactly. In my head, these Ita- they, like this this mafia group that we're in, they're basing their stuff off of like you know old mafia from the 20th century. So it's like they don't get it right because it's five you know a thousand years, fifteen hundred years, whatever in the future. So yeah, rigatoni would like something ridiculous like that though. You know, we're still trying to figure it out. Italian name generator. <laughs> I want to go with Enzo. Yes. Okay. Because get a little Assassin's Creed callback, and then but the last name let's go something ridiculous. Pepperoni. Pe- yeah, and so pepperoni. Yes, I love it. Thank you. Then I am changing my name to Ragu. <laughs> and so pepperoni. And and so my boy. And so pepperoni. And Julian Ragu. <laughs> what do you change it to? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're just a couple of tough guys you know we're out here we're trying to... guys, eh? a couple of wise guys hey you'd never heard of the pepperonis <laughs> you better show me some respect we're the most delicious family in the world. okay where are we starting are you guys in one of these places where you already have a foothold or are you starting a new place for the family are you on the outer are you in the outskirts in the boons are you on Gamma in the industrial planet? I think that would be the best place for us to start. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to be from Beta. And I saw, man, the Constellation Directorate just messing with the, our business. That's why I joined the Mafia. So were you uh, like... They had like, no, no sense. Were you like a uh, military kid or some military brat or something i think i was just part of colonies there you know just a kind of like a real nobody well i assume at this point beta is like several 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 billion people planet you know yeah you can Big, big military base planets got to have janitors. <laughs> yeah, and there would be like, yeah, there would be military bases and then there would have to be civilian places too just because there'd be families of, you know, like 
so he would be from you could totally be from some some neighborhood like basically like the suburbs is what that would be yeah like um, from the LA suburbs of beta is like is like the heart of like i don't know la or something and then the you'd be in the suburbs as like the families of people yeah and those military guys always getting a special treatment I don't want to stick it to a living okay, so on the edge of the law. Do we, um, so we're starting on beta. We're both from different planets. So we're just trying to get into it. Right, no, you're starting at gamma. I thought he's from beta. Yeah, that's oh, where yeah. I'm from. Yeah. We're starting on gamma and we're both. So yeah, we're both outsiders trying to make it. Yeah. So yeah. are we just going to be like literally yeah. just stupid guys coming in who are just like, Hey, we want to join the mafia. What's up? No, you're already <laughs> in, we're the in the mafia. <laughs> You you have been recruited in the mafia or in some maybe like I don't know pepperoni maybe your family had mafia ties, that's very possible. And then hey, dude, that's, Julia, that's offensive. How dare you just assume that? Because Julia <laughs> got recruited, got recruited to by this I, Max Grenade, who is the acting ahead of the Nova Tribe. Yeah, Max was working down at the docks at the ports, and he yeah. was doing an operation, <laughs> and he liked the cut of my jib. Yeah, <laughs> Max <Like that gym. laughs> is a lieutenant in Nova Tribe, so he's in charge of, like, the Gamma, the this neighborhood of Gamma, basically, where you guys are stationed. And this, you're in a a, a dome. This place is domed off. So this section is domed off, and in a corner of this big dome is this entertainment district. And it is slummy. And that is what the Nova tribe is supposed to, like, control. Like, that's the, their foothold racket. Like, they're supposed to control this neighborhood and reap money from these businesses and then expand their reach further onto the planet. So Max Grenade has, you know, established this foothold on the on the planet. And you guys and the other members of Nova Tribe on Gamma have an important meeting that's supposed to go down between Max Grenade and the local Quadrads leader, which is another big crime syndicate. The Quadrads are known to be violent and territorial, and they also have reach on multiple planets like like the Greater Crime family does. If, if you guys are ready to start playing, do you have, everybody has names and numbers on their paper and knows how much HP they have and all that good stuff? Yep. Oh, let's roll them. Roll, roll, roll them. So, uh, Max. What are we doing here anyway? <laughs> this is a this is an important meeting. If we can settle thing with the quadrads, we might be able to expand in this territory with less bloodshed, which means more business. But <sighs> we're bringing all the extra muscle, you guys and the rest of the boys, because there's been hits happening. Somebody's targeting all the crime family lieutenants in both the Nova tribe and the quadrats and other organizations. Someone's trying to weaken everybody to make some kind of move. So you're all here to make sure they don't get that here. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Where are these hits taking place? They centralized. There was no, they were been on multiple planets. One was a bombing on a space station. Another was a sniper in in a warehouse. Uh, another one was some other some a group of people attacked with chains and knives. Oh, who, who's whacking all the lieutenants? We got to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, so that's your first bit of lore. There's been a. Uh, attempted assassinations or successful assassinations of leadership of crime multiple types of crime families all through the galaxy so you guys arrive at this place this place that you arrive at is an industrial site on the planet 
not super far from where you guys are, but not in your territory. Uh, and this place is outside of the dome. Um, and when you're outside of the dome on this planet for ex an extended period of time, you need to wear like a respirator air unit to, you know, breathe and not be poisoned by the poisonous atmosphere to filter out things. And uh, so you each have one of these in this situation. You all have like a little mask unit probably some eye protection and it's like uh out here it's desolate it's like rocky formations but no no life the wind is fierce and it has a always has a gritty fine dust on it which if you're not wearing your eye protection gets in your eyes and pelts your skin and it also if you rub it if it gets rubbed into your skin it makes your skin irritated and itchy um, because it has chemical shit in it. It's like a chemical dust. So you're at this place. You get out of the vehicle you, you rode here in, which was like a funky, it's got weird space rover wheels and shit, but it's basically like a truck. And uh, what, do you, what do you do? Uh, I'll discern realities and I will case the joint. And I'm going to just start scanning the perimeter Keep the eyes out for bogeys and such. Well. Okay, so you see the space which has like these pillars coming out of the earth of some industrial equipment kind of equally spaced out in like a grid pattern, like, I don't know, several yards apart from each other. Um, and you do notice at the kind of the other end of this grid kind of makes a field of these machines there. You do see a few quadrad members hanging out over there, and they've also seen your vehicle pull up. Um, but the rest of the coast seems to be clear. You sure about this place, Max? Max says, yeah. Yeah, do you see them? Are they here already? They're over there. Out of the truck yet, you notice. He seems a little cautious. Just who decided to meet here anyway? It was, uh, to, we agreed upon a location. Yeah, but who suggested the location? I don't recall. Oh, oh Gorgonzola. <laughs> Why don't you guys go make first contact? Check the field. I'll stay here with the other guys and we'll... We'll stay in the car where it's safe. So we're the... We're the bait. Yeah, you're the newest guys on the team. You know how it works, Pepperoni. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We'll do this one, but just this one. <laughs> all right. So we're going to head where, like, around the corner? Yeah, I'm just, like, going to walk, like, kind of confidently, but like it's my first time and I'm just gonna be you know like are you wearing one of the masks? Um I think I am I think I'll be always wearing the dashing mask unless stated otherwise. Cool. What is the dashing mask? I can defy danger with charisma instead of Yeah, what does it look like? Oh what does it look like? Oh um well, all my masks are from like like a little band, like I'm wearing a little headband, and they all just kind of like they're like put this holographic holographic kind of like screen over my face. It's just yeah. like a real life filter. Yeah, and like, like an AR a thing. Yeah, up. and it like obscures my face, but I've got like my phone and my text messages and my emails just like kind of yeah, like on the inside it's your, your hud on the outside it's a screen of yeah your, and your for this mask it's just like uh it's okay. just like a creepy smiley face but it's not like smiling it's just you know it's just a line oh okay <laughs> is it uh so you walk out towards the quadrat guys yeah are you are you going with him enzo i am 
Okay, so you guys walk out and you see one of the Quadra guys says something and kind of shoes two of his lesser dudes over and they meet you in the middle of the field of these machines. Like you're in this checkerboard of these machines. Oi, Quadrad Quadros. You ready to meet? Yeah, your lieutenant here? Uh, sure. All right. You guys don't pull any funny business. Hey, you don't pull any funny business. Why are you bringing up funny business? What do you mean, right. what do you mean funny? <laughs> like, ha-ha like, funny? <laughs> okay. And he, like, waves at his guy, and you see, like, a, a big black, like, limo pull up. Uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll wave at my guy. Give and the you signal. See, you see one of the other boys gets out and goes over the truck and opens the truck door and starts to help uh, Max grenade down from the uh, from from the truck. You know, he's like <clears throat> fucking what's the word? Like doubting on him, you know, like his royalty or something. And at that moment uh, this drone oversized drone flies overhead and begins firing and it fires an explosive that destroys the vehicle that max is getting out of and turns and fires another explosive. these are like two rpgs mounted on it and the other one hits the black limousine that the fucking quadrads are getting getting out of and then it's comes around and just opens fire with a machine gun and starts strafing the re the rest of the group of guys, including you. So you're being strafed by an, a drone. What do you do? Well, I'll just, I, the serpentine! Ser serpentine! And just start booking it towards cover. Probably one of those pillars that you, you were talking about. Roll. Right now, I'm really... I forgot... That uh, dexterity is jumping out of the way of stuff, and I think I'm gonna die. Eight. <laughs> Eight? Yeah. That, that's a mixed result. So you go to dive for cover, and it strafes past you, and it bullets air fall around you, and you have to you fall to the floor, <laughs> and you're you're out in the open, and the fucking punk ass in the Quadrad says, you sons of bitches, you're traitors, and pulls a, a laser blade, like a short laser energy sword, and uh, goes to attack you. Uh, what did you do about the being strafed by a drone? I got a... Oh, no, I'm glad we waited for that. I got a three. Okay, Mark, <laughs> you get hit, you go to run, and you get hit in the leg by the drone fire and then what do you, you guys want to do do one guy has his laser blade drawn like he's going to fight you uh julian you know i i try to like defend myself and i i yell at him it's like what are you an idiot they just killed my guys you think i'm responsible get out of here oh, Carissa. Ten. Ten. Okay, so the other guy is like hits him on the shoulder, like "Let's go!" and try, and they run back towards their people on the other side of the field. What are you doing, uh, Enzo? I am going to try to hit the drone with some magic or some electricity, or yeah, use your your tech powers. Oh shit! All right, I got a five. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> you, you start to charge up your power again, and it swings around, and while you're trying to, like, bring up, you know, seize the energy from your equipment, it shoots you again. This time only dealing one damage, the, which I don't think... So you get grazed, but your armor protection. And then uh, the quadrads are are fleeing the area. They are leaving. You look over towards your guy's truck that had been destroyed, and there's one of the guys, uh, other boys in the squad, is crawling away from the burning wreckage, clearly severely injured. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to run over and try and help that guy. 
what are you, how are you trying to help? You run over to him, he's like, Julian, Julian, what happened? Is there some kind of, like, medical check? Is it like intelligence? Did your starting equipment have it? Uh, you... shit. I didn't take the band. Um, I can heal him, and I also have a healing potion. I mean, I'll just heal him. I can, tr I can try to heal him just regular with my magic. Oh, uh, it don't matter what happened. We need to get out of here. And I start dra try to... dragging him to safety. Should I try to heal him? It's just some guy, right? I thought it's one of our guys. Well, yeah, one of our guys. But yeah, he's... So just like another low level guy like us. Yeah, I mean he's above you just because he's been there longer, but he right. doesn't have a significant station. Yeah, that I'd say would save him. All right, I'm gonna try to heal him. Okay. All right, so I got a seven. So I gotta take a neg or there's a negative on it. So I choose one of the three. I lose control. Oh no. Oh, I still heal them, but I I transfer the damage to me. <laughs> so great. I don't help him to roll a. The D6 to see how much damage I take and he gains two. So yeah, your your equipment like And my armor doesn't my armor doesn't help that, right? No. Your equipment like drains some of your life force and fluids to like pump it back into him to revitalize him a little bit. And he seems a little bit more clear minded after that. It's like we gotta get out of here. We gotta get back. We gotta get back to HQ, back to our district. Well, I kind of don't know where we are. How do we get out of here? And he points, he points to the, over towards, let's say the west, and he points towards the dome, and you can see the dome over there that you're, that you guys live in, that your district is. Let's get out of here before I get shot again. Yeah, I'll start trying to help that guy, but I'm not very strong. Yeah, make the strength track to try and help. <laughs> Hey, all right, so you're able to move, but you guys are moving very slowly. Oh, it's uh, too many calzones. Hey, wh what's your name anyway? I've seen you around, but, uh, I, you know, I'm new. His name is, what's another Italian name? Giuseppe. Oh, Giuseppe. I'm Giuseppe. Oh, Giuseppe, well, where are you from, man? Where your mama live? My mama's, my mama's back on Seoul. Oh, I hear it's lovely there this time of year. Oh, it's... It's a horrible place. <laughs> <laughs> no, you heard wrong. I was so. trying to save money to, to move her off world somewhere nice. Well, I promise you, Giuseppe, I'll make sure that you can go home and see your mama and save her from that terrible place. All right, so you guys are moving slowly, but you do hear the whir of the machine gun drones coming back around towards you, your direction. Get down! What are you, uh, what are you doing, Enzo? I'm gonna try something a little different. So I do have these throwing knives, and I do have this levitate power, able to lift, move, and throw creatures, objects smaller, th or objects smaller than you with your mind. When you roll the ap appropriate casting stat, on a hit, you have a total control of it and can move it around with will. So I'm gonna try to just... Throw my knife at this drone, but control it with my spell. Okay, what part of the drone are you targeting? What does the drone look like? It's quadcopter style. It's got clearly got like the machine gun part that it's attack attacking people with, the fan blades part, like four fan blades it's flying with, and then more like a central control part. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the central control part right in the middle. Finally, I got a 14. Nice. nice. So you fly your blade up into the drone and it slams into it. And the drone stops. It's hovering there. And then starts making like jerky motions. And occasionally just sporadically firing its gun in a random direction. What are you, what are you doing, Julian? As I'm looking at it, you know, kind of sp spouting out in random directions, I, I want to see if I can determine, like, is it local? Is it from, like, is it fancy from Delta? Or is it, like, military grade from Beta? Something like that. Oh, so I, <laughs> I got a six. A fail. <laughs> Why you stand up and try to look at it, One of, it suddenly randomly turns in your direction and fires at you and you take six points of damage wow. yeah just like it just embeds in my, in my forehead just kind of like <laughs> but like not deep but it's just like it's there it's just like, ah. but i like where your head's at in trying to figure out where it's from that's a good 
course of action. But now it's going crazy and it's flying around uh, shooting randomly. What do you uh, What do you guys want to do? Get back in the car? The car is smoldering on fire. Oh, hey. Oh. Yeah, I think we're far away from the car by now. Are you still carrying that guy? Well, yeah, we're, you didn't we're... Made it too far because you were carrying Giuseppe. Yeah, we're like in cover. But like, is there like people around or this is just like empty warehouse district kind of? Out of place. So you look around and you see where you currently are is like that, but a little bit further down the road, this road attaches to a bigger road, and you can see off in the distance every once in a while a vehicle goes by. It's not super busy and it's not super far, but there is very little of any cover between there and here. All right, Giuseppe, sit tight. Think about Mama, and we'll be right back. <laughs> ah! Don't leave me, Julian. Yeah. Don't leave me to die. If I don't go now, we're both gonna die. As, like, a little bit of blood starts, like, <laughs> <laughs> just tripping down the front of my mask. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn and I'm just gonna sprint down the alleyway towards the road. You just left me? You, you coming, Enzo, or are you you're just twiddling your thumb? I'm a coming. And I start running. Get your hand yeah. out of the spaghetti bowl. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna fall after him, running... <laughs> Okay, so you guys are going to sprint. Uh, why don't you roll Defy Danger? Because the robot is still misfiring in different directions and see if uh, anybody's unlucky. And I got a 10. Cool. So you guys make it towards the bigger road. Uh, on this road, it's like wide. It's like a really wide lane. And you do see in the distance coming your way very quickly a large equivalent of a semi-truck space semi truck going in the direction you are going want to go towards the dome what do you guys do um wave them down i guess yeah try to get someone to stop roll charisma 10 okay this one slows down and the window rolls down and the guy pops out his head and you can tell he's a local from gamma and he says what do you want boy why are you in the road Hey, we, we need a ride. How'd you get out of here? I'm not a taxi service. We fell off a truck. Roll charisma. Uh, charisma? Yeah, you did talk to him. I did talk to him. Why did I say <laughs> Oh, I got a head. Well, if you can hold on, you can... I can ride you back to the dome. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. It's people like you that keep Gamma running. Right, just grab on, strap on to the side. And there's places where, like, cargo can be, like, strapped to the side where you can kind of put yourself in and strap on. Are you guys going to just leave Enzo over there? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be back. Okay. <laughs> if we don't forget. He'll find his way back, dude. He's good. Excellent. So you guys strap onto the south side of this truck, and it is a terrible ride as the wheels are just throwing that toxic dust on you as you're flying down the road. But you do make it back into the dome and to your district. You look rather fucked up. Your clothes are now filthy and have chemical burns on them and your skin is irritated and shitty. But you find your way back to your district. So your district is a series of smaller streets that people mostly walk down and you're in the dome. So the interior here is, it's not nice, but it isn't the evil from outside, radiated evil from outside. And it is a, a tall, like two or three story buildings, like narrow alleyways. And on the bottom floors, almost everyone is some kind of business. It includes like there's like a brothel is like one of the big attractions. There's many bars, nightclubs, a theater. All this is in the district you guys control. And on one of the back alleys is a small financial building, which is actually the Nova tribe headquarters for your family branch for the space. It's the space dragon headquarters. And this is like your, the top floor of this is like the HQ for the mafia. here. So you have returned to this, assumably this is like home base. You do know that as crime family members, from here you can get try to get in contact with the greater Nova tribe leadership on one of the other planets. Um, and you do have contacts locally that would be stored here that you've seen Max Grenade use for different applications. But now the Space Dragons seems to be just the, 
the two of you and one guy dying out in the desert. There's nobody here? There is no one here right now. You know that there is people who work in this building that are civilians, like not part of the mafia. And there is like a secretary that works up on this floor and like helps Max Grenade like do business and shit. But she's not here right now. It's the evening. I want to go rifling through her desk looking for anything that could help. Like a name or a number or... Cool. 11. Cool. So at 11, you find the, like a book or a file? I don't know. Do you think you're using paper or do you think it's all digital? Uh, I think it's all digital. Okay. I think so it would you... just be a bunch of chips and stuff. Right, yeah. You find like a flash drive that's the con- like a contact list. And it has contacts for the uh, the accountant, for the, the Space Dragon's accountant, and then the Space Dragon's lawyer on Gamma, and, that, and then that sort of stuff. And there's probably like a doctor on that list. Like this is a doctor we use when we need a doctor that doesn't ask questions kind of thing. Um, and then there is also a contact within the local law enforcement. Not necessarily the CD, like more like local Gamma Patrol people. And then there's the family contact. Uh, there would be a contact for someone on Benefuku, who's part of the main branch of, of the Nova tribe. I'm going to call the lawyer. The phone rings and it, a young person answers and says, uh, Menudo and Meatball... <laughs> Legal services, how can I direct your call? This is Max Grenade. I need help right away. Oh, yeah, yes, Mr. Grenade. Uh, Mr. Menudo told me to put you right through if you ever call. A moment later, an older gentleman answers and says, Max, what's going on? I'm sorry to inform you, but Max might be dead. This is Ooh. Julie, and you need Ooh. to tell everybody you know that we're being targeted and we were set up. What, what happened? We were targeted and we were set up. There was an explosion. What happened to Max? He might be dead. I don't know. This is bad. Uh, Have you talked to any of law enforcement? No, you're the first man I go. Good. Don't talk to anybody in law enforcement. Just uh... call me (laughs) if anything, if if you get attacked by anyone in any sort of legal manner, lawyer, law enforcement, councilman, anybody. You talk yeah. to me before you talk to someone. And you gotta tell the boss, because I don't have any way to contact him. But he gotta know. Oh, he gotta know. You want me to contact your boss? Yeah. Oh, charisma. Nine. How is that my job? Because you... if if you don't got, if we both don't got a boss no more, then you don't get paid. Well, I, w- I have a successful law firm, young man, and you work for a crime family. So one of us clearly has the responsibility of calling the crime family. I don't got his number, okay? Do Mommy, you got, do you have the number? Give Mommy, me the number. You got to do something for me if you want me to do it. Oh. Listen, we don't got time for hand jobs, okay? Can you just give us the number? I mean, you guys have the contact for the. It's in the. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. I, I thought, oh. One of them is a contact for somebody in the family in... But a Fuku. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> so the boss isn't like here on Gamma. Nope. The boss that was here? No, like was... like the head guy of our whole family doesn't no. hang out on Gamma. No. Okay. No. Gamma's a shithole. <laughs> Why would he be on Gamma? He hangs out in Benefuco where it's tourism. It's like all, every dome is a tropical paradise, you know? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> they don't even need domes, bro. They terraform that bitch. Maybe, yeah, maybe they terraform. All right, listen, Meatball. I'm going to call you back after I've had a word with the boss and tell him how very unhelpful you were. All right, and he hangs up. I don't think he was Meatball. Now I ring up the uh, family contact on Metafuco. Hey, can I um, kill myself? Yeah, what happens if you fail the roll? Do you take damage again and then nothing? I assume I take damage, more damage, right? Because yeah. it says I, I transfer for it, but if it's, I'm trying to heal myself, I would just gain yeah. more, I assume. So 10 plus or I get, or nothing happens or, or I take damage? No, nothing happens. Woohoo, I got 10. Okay, you heal your, you can roll your 1d6 heal then. Three, sweet. So it takes me down to just one. I'm good to go. So you going to call this boss guy or what? Okay. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> 
Ring, 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 ring. Phone answers. It's and going to a different planet, so it's too <laughs> Nova Tribe headquarters. <laughs> she answers. When we we'll watch the car blow up, I'm like, are we? Am I pretty confident that Max is like dead? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And like an RPG was shot into where okay. he... Yeah. <laughs> Tell the bot, Max is dead. It was a setup. <laughs> stay, stay on the line. And she transfers you to someone else who answers the phone. This time a more gruff gentleman. Who is this? It's Julian. Julian? Julian, Julian Ragu. Max is dead. It was a setup. He's a... Uh... You knew Julian? You knew to the Space Dragons? Yes. How could you tell? What happened? Oh, we were supposed to meet up with the Quadrads, and uh, then a drone came out of the sky and blew us all to Kingdom Go. So the Quadrads set you up? Nah, the drone killed them too. We were both set up. Someone squealed. We got a rat. Julian, who else is left alive? Me, Enzo, and after I call you, I gotta call the doctor about getting Giuseppe. You gotta keep control of the crime family's neighborhood. These people are targeting our branches to weaken us. Well, the, it's working. You must run this branch now. You and Giuseppe and Enzo must run this branch until we can find you new leadership. This is an opportunity to prove yourself. Be ready. Someone might make a move on your territory. Knowing Max is dead, you're now targets. Understood. We will let you down. All right, I'll tell the big boss what's going on. Get into trouble. You call back. You ask for Anthony, Lieutenant Anthony Mastacholi. I'm, <laughs> I'm a head of crime family operations, a minister for the big boss. Julian, Julian, ask him if we should retaliate. Anthony, Mr. Yeah. Masket, Master Jolie. Yeah. What should our first step be in uh, retaliating against? Don't worry about retaliating. Focus on maintaining control of your district and figuring out what happened. The more information you can gather on what happened, the sooner we can figure out who's to blame. I think Enzo's just itchy to knock some heads. That's all right. Channel that energy into beating back those who come from your land, your territory. You let them know Nova Tribe's still in control of Gamma. All right, I got business to attend to. And he hangs up. All right, so what do you, what, what do you say? Because I didn't hear any of it. <laughs> we got to take control of this place. And you know all the local hotspots. I don't know. We better find Max's secretary. She probably knows more about this business than we do. Is there any other vehicles here so we can go get Giuseppe or? Yeah, we got to go get Giuseppe. I don't know. I think you could roll. Let's roll to find out if there's another vehicle here. Uh, odds or evens? Mm, evens. One. Dang it. No, there's no other vehicle. That was his main ride, and you guys are too poor to own cars. All right, mm -hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the doc. Okay. Uh, ring, 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 ring. A woman answers. Hello? Excuse me, we're having an emergency here. We need the doctor right away. How did you get this number? From Max Grenade. What's going on? We were blown up. Our friend is hurt. Max is dead. We need assistance. And a ride. <laughs> Ask if they have any morphine. So I'll quiet you with your drug habits. <laughs> Where? Uh, down in the warehouse district. Where are you there now? No, we're back at the dome. We had to leave our pal there to totally. get help because we couldn't move him. He was too badly injured. Okay, I'm going to come pick you up. I will need your help to move him. And a few minutes later, you hear the honking of a horn outside your building. Shocker. Aww. And you get into what is just like a, the shittiest little commuter car you've ever seen. Um, and it's not fast at all, but it's puts a lot. It seems weighed down with three full adult humans in it. Um, and in here is this woman who is clearly the doctor. And in the back seat next to you is a bunch of medical supplies. And she says, starts driving towards the warehouse district. She's like, "Tell me what kind of injuries this person sustained, and what what happened to Max." Someone blew up our car. He's probably got shrapnel damage. It is like 
because he wasn't helping to walk at all. And Max, you're sure he's dead? Well, last I saw him, he was in a burning inferno. But I cannot Max? confirm whether or not he's dead. We got to secure the area and look for who might have done this. Yeah, we need to find some clues. You guys pull up down that road off the highway. Odds or evens? Even. Giuseppe is still alive. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> and she jumps, she sees him and pulls over and jumps out of the car and immediately starts checking out his injuries. And she's like, you need to help me get him in the back seat. I'm, I'm strong. <laughs> Rolls some strength on it. Ten. Ten. Nice. So you're able to pick up Giuseppe and lay him, sit him in the back seat, and she starts going to work on on trying to stabilize his situation. But you guys also want to do some investigado. Yeah. So I want to like look around the car and see if I can find any shrapnel from whatever it is that blew up the car. Yeah, the drone is gone, right? I hope. <laughs> you guys can roll to find out all these things that you have. Okay, I'm looking for the drone. And I'm looking around the car. Seven. Ten. Okay, seven, you find pieces of it. Like it, a part of the outside ring that's protecting the guard around one of the four blades. You find that part. Uh, and then at a ten, you're able to find chunks of the shell that was fired yeah I'll, I'll start putting the pieces together analyzing it analyze analyze 10 10 nice i will also analyze and i got a 12. the uh part of the, the of the drone you have is enough to identify that it is manufactured here on the planet uh it was like a local design, and it was probably proprietary to one of the large companies that operates on the planet. Local, yeah, and mass-produced is what I'm getting at. It's not mm -hmm. like a custom job, like, like someone makes these for use, industrial use in some way, and this one had been set up as a weapon. But the explosive is definitely... As you know, Julian, looking at it, is definitely CD man manufacturing. Oh, okay. Military grade. The directorate's behind this. The who? The directorate. The constellation directorate. You know those a-holes that always be putting their nose in our business? Nah. <laughs> you need to read more. Uh, whoa. The cops! Oh, those guys. <laughs> is there anything uh can i what else can we look for besides can i just be vague and just say clues you could investigate the wreckage left behind by the quadrads i guess oh yeah let's go over let's That's see what the if there, any of the quadrads left behind where they were where like their guys were at and that is gonna be a fail six okay cool so as you fail you see turning down the street where the doctor is helping the injured person, Giuseppe, is a police vehicle. And it comes down and pulls over where she is. And you see two officers get out of the car. We're all by each other, right? You guys are over looking at the two different wreckages. And she's where you guys were leaving. So you're not really by each other. You can see, but you're not close. Because that wreckage of the, the quadrants was on the other side of the field of machines. Yeah. Right? So you guys are on opposite sides of this field looking at the blown up parts of cars. And then she's over here towards the exit from the area. I am going to hide. I, I'm i going to scan the area with my intelligence and find the, prop, the, the, the optimal hiding spot. Optimal hiding spot that I won't be seen. All right. Well, 10. So you like step into the shadow of one of the pillars of the one of the machines at an angle that they could not see. And I'm going to go over to the doctor and pretend to be her assistant. So you walk over to the doctor and then uh, you see the officer spots you while you're walking over and one of them's kind of watching you while the other one's talking to the doctor. And you can see the doctor is like, I'm I'm trying to help. You can see this person's injured. And he's like, how'd he get injured? 
that's not our business to know. Uh, our client here pays for premium service to help him in any situation he may need. He contacted us, and and we arrived on location, and we are here to serve our client. Well, roll charisma to, for all that bullshit. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, so he believes that, and he says... Well, your client was clearly involved in something illegal, and he gestures to the wreckage you were just walking away That's from. That's hearsay. He could be an innocent bystander. What evidence do you have that he was involved in any of these well, we got proceedings? Circumstantial evidence to take him down to the station and question him. Not in this condition. Look at him. He needs treatment. And he looks over at the doctor. Yeah, how how's he doing, doc? And she kind of looks back at you like, I'm not supposed to, I don't know what to say. He's not going to make it if you don't help him. Dead I, witness isn't a good witness. You need to roll some, some stuff to fuse there to hold this information without the police. So, Double six. Okay. She said, well, a dead witness is not a good witness. And the, the partner does, the partner kind of looks over and kind of points to how much blood is on the floor. And then the police officer says, all right, well, I'm taking all your names and locations and we're going to come around and have a chat later. And he wants you to tell him your, your, oh, no, he wants you to give him your I, digital ID so he can scan it. What is the range on my powers? They just don't give a range, do they? That's why I'm asking. I don't know. I mean, this kind of implies that I guess if you can see it, you can do it. I'm going to say you could do it at this range, but you're definitely giving away your location if you're shooting fireballs or something. I look at the officer like right in the eye and I handed my real ID and I'm like, any way I could help, officer. And he scans your ship. And he sees kind of who you are. And he scans the doctor's thing. And she comes up as a doctor. And then he scans Giuseppe's. All right. You're going to all get a visit from us later. Make sure you don't leave town. You make sure you don't leave town. And he just kind of looks confused and shrugs. And they get back in their car and drive away. Is that not how they say goodbye? in these parts and the doctor's like i don't know how we just didn't get arrested right there i don't i don't actually know how you don't you worry your pretty little head about it don't you condescend me my pretty little head contains a lot more information than yours i'm sorry don't worry your big inflated ego about it i'm gonna come back to them after i saw the cops leave hey what's up guys where have you been oh you know just looking for clues well you just missed the fuzz what the intergalactic whatever you were talking about earlier the ones that try to kill us no no the local fuzz oh so there's a difference okay cool 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 yeah the, uh, <laughs> the cd's more like uh federal uh, this is just local state affairs so um is this guy gonna live if we can get him back yes i think he can live I've got him stabilized at the moment. If we get him back to your office, we can set him up to start healing. But he's going to be in recovery for a very long time. He has pretty severe burns and shrapnel injuries in multiple places. Are we going to have to take care of him? Or are you going to keep him for till he's better? I, this, no, you, this man is your responsibility. You... Yeah, that's not going to happen. Get in the car. You're going to have to take him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not taking him. And she No, gets... you can have him. Get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get in the car. And she drives you back to your office. And she gets out of the car and opens his door and says, Take him upstairs. Carry him upstairs. Uh, uh, <laughs> going to let you take care of this one so like what are we gonna have to do with this guy changes like bandages and stuff yes that would be that would be a good idea if oh. you don't want wounds to fest you can get him other medical care i don't care my service has been fulfilled and max is dead so i'm not i don't know if 
I have a business relationship with you after this. Oh, come on. We need you, Doc. Then take your fucking guy out of my goddamn car. Fine. I pick him up. Roll strength. Eight. Okay, you pick him up. You manage, You almost drop him, but you manage him out of the car. And she sits. Good day. And she gets in her car and drives off. What a number on that one. So is there like beds or rooms or anything like that in this clubhouse? Yeah, there's definitely places to crash here. You can okay, so I'm going to go find a bed or room or something to put down Giuseppe. Yeah, you put Giuseppe in bed and Giuseppe's like, uh, it all happened so fast. Yeah. We One moment we were talking to you and then yeah, the next moment I saw I saw his head explode. I saw his head explode. Yeah, well, Giuseppe, I wish that your head would have exploded because now I got to take care of you. All right, next time, don't get shot up, jerk. Like, this is really an inconvenience for this hey, whole operation. He's off the boy, <laughs> and so we need every hand we can get. Yeah, for till when? Like, when's his hand going to be getting, you know? <laughs> no one knows. I am going to leave the room. You can <laughs> <laughs> in a fuss. I'm just all piss. All right. Well, it is probably very late in your day cycle. You've had a very full day. You know that eventually the secretary will be coming into work, expecting people to be here uh, in some number of hours. So it will be a good opportunity to take a rest and heal. Yeah. So you guys, uh, per the way the game works, heal half your HP total back. Yeah. Hey. Have the opportunity to level up if you have I'm, enough. I'm just like in the bathroom with a knife, just like digging the bullet out of my forehead. And at some point the next morning, whatever the day cycle is, you hear the secretary come in. With you. Maria. Maria. Maria comes in, and you hear her, like, shuffling around in the office, and she's like, is anybody here yet? Max, are you here? Ah, I I I come out of the shadows, so I go, Max is dead. Oh, Julian, you scared me. What did you say? Max, grenade. He's he's spinning the meatball up in the sky now. What? What? Ironically, he blew up. She breaks down in tears. No! What happened? We were set what, up. What did you say? No. Where's everybody else? I don't know. Uh, we got Giuseppe Giuseppe's, upstairs. Giuseppe's upstairs. He's barely breathing. You got to take care of him. <laughs> oh my god! She runs over to where the over downstairs upstairs where the beds are and swoons over Giuseppe for a while. Notes on Giuseppe for a while, and you hear her wailing from the other room. And Giuseppe's like telling her what happened, and she's like, "No." And Mario, no. And then, Mario, oh, Mario. No. Luigi. <laughs> like all the guys that died in there. Oh, no. After a while, she comes out and she's just like red faced. Her eyes are cried out. And she sits down at her desk. And she's like, so, what do we do now? Well, we got orders from the tribe to strengthen our hold on the area. Do you, you got to help us. You knew all of Max's plans and business dealings and Antonio Mastigioli put me in charge of the space dragon. She looks sad. She, uh... Wait, you're in charge? Who started <laughs> at the same time? We're, we're in charge. Okay. I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, uh, well, I mean, now that you mention it, it probably has already gotten around. Because I saw street toughs that I don't normally see in this neighborhood. Where? Now get up, all angry. If Max is dead, then their street gangs will try to immediately seize the territory right here. We used to talk about it all the time. He was lenient on those young folks, you know, kept them in line so they didn't cause too much trouble, but also didn't didn't run them out of town they're just gonna try to fill the void down there they're gonna probably start putting pressure on the businesses where did you see them and she pulls up the map of the area and she points out the neighborhoods that they hang out in they're just misguided use you know you you don't have to kill them or nothing but just remind them that just i don't have to kill them just because Max is gone. 
Don't have to kill them. Yeah, I'll take that into consideration. Adrian, are you ready? I want to kill them. It, it makes a big mess. It attracts more attention. You know, Max would just have a couple of strong boys go rough up any of them that got too rowdy and hurt our local economy. You know, the economy. See, they they the hurt the, 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 the punks. They scare off tourists and and locals alike and they hurt the businesses i'm just gonna like storm out and i'm gonna be like adrian you come in and i'm like leaving and i'm gonna start going to wherever she, one of the, the closest circles she show she hey, made on the map who's adrian <laughs> hey what's what's oh, your character's name julian julian sorry i thought well honestly i thought you said a julian like oh. adrian a julian <laughs> all right i promise bro yeah I, i'll try to keep him out of trouble we we don't need more deaths on our hands i guess i'll try to figure out what our next move might be would you kindly and don't forget about giuseppe yeah we need every man we could get so you guys leave the building and walk down the narrow streets to find one alleyway where there is four punks giving some folks a hard time like a couple I'm going to run up and I'm going to be like, you guys think you guys could just come in here and do whatever you want. And I'm going to start wailing on one of them, just okay, on just top of him, up. hit him to the ground and just on top of him. <laughs> okay, roll well, some strength. That is an eight. An eight? Yes. Okay. So you come up and you fucking deck his ass and try to push him over. And one of the other guys comes back and hits you back. Um, And you, you are now four do guys. I take, do I take any damage from the hit? So you take two damage. Dang. My armor doesn't help, right? Uh, it does. I don't think it does. It still helps. It should still help. Cool. So roll your damage then. We're doing damage. Roll your damage because you traded blows with the guy. Oh, yeah. Three. Three damage. Okay, so you cock that guy, you cold cock that guy pretty good, and his friend comes back and hits you back. What do you do, Julian? Uh, I'm going to pull out my laser pistol. And I'm going to fire it into the air. Uh, okay. Roll charisma? That's like, like intimidation. Yeah. 12. Yeah. The fucking couple. Bang, bang. What's up, motherfuckers? Recover. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the. The punks all, like, jump back in fear because the sound of the... <laughs> being tired. Uh, you, you all calm down now, you hear? <laughs> and they all kind of stop, like, mid-beating, trying to punch back at Enzo. Now you boys are hanging out where you don't belong. Who you running with? Eh? Uh, spit it out, I ain't got all day. We're the Blue Jackets. Oh, yeah? And we what would the Blue there. Jackets think about the Space Dragons? We heard the Space Dragons uh, ain't no more no more. So we came to... Well, you heard incorrectly. Now scram before this gets ugly. Roll charisma. Ten. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> they all kind of look at each other, then slowly back away, and then turn and run down the alley. You should have got them to join the gang, dude. Well, we need those guys to fight the other guys. When they think that we don't have a gang, and then they come and join our gang, and then realize <laughs> that we still don't have a gang, I don't think they'd be too willing to join us. Capiche? Okay. So let's go find more of those guys. How many? Like, how many areas did she show us? She showed you three spots where she thought she saw them hanging out around town. This is you going more to this more of a shopping arcade area. This area is a little wider and rounded off and there's businesses and restaurants, small restaurants and bars. They're all little businesses and some of them are selling goods. And the, you see a few of the kids over by one of the businesses and they're harassing one of the business owners. Like two of the guys are like throwing back and forth like his merchandise and he's trying to get him to stop it's like a little old man and another one is like shoving shit in his pockets there's like three hooligans over at that business i am gonna shoot lightning at the biggest one my damage isn't that big so i can't kill him uh <laughs> <laughs> okay hope not at least 14 14 does that do something extra it's oh, no. you oh, did a no. really good job seems like you may have melted his entire body no there's nothing extra but it's a 1d8. Oh, well, you could then you could kill him. It's within your power. Three. 
three damage. Uh, you sl- launch out and it zaps the one of the guys like as he's about to catch the product and it zaps him and the product hits him in the face and he falls to the floor. And both the other guys turn and look at, towards you and go, hey, what the hell? This is space dragon territory. You come over here, you get fucked up. The one of the guys says, the space dragons ain't shit anymore. And he fucking kicks over one of the stands at the business and then goes sprinting oh. off in towards the in deeper into the arcade of business. I, I want to I'm going to shoot lightning and I want to shoot it at his feet. Nine uh, on a mixed result. You now have to choose a negative yeah. on the list. Oh, okay, I'll t- I'll take the damage. Uh, it's uh two. Okay, you take two damage. You shoot the bolt of lightning. Roll the damage on the lightning, which is a D eight. Seven. Oh, okay, I have to look up the guys. <laughs> is it the same guy or is it a different guy? No, it's a different guy. But it's either he either has one HP or negative one HP, and it's relevant. <laughs> very relevant (laughs) so you blast out this lightning and it hits this guy's leg and it shocks his whole body and it stops his heart and he falls to the ground dude you gave him too much man and it's a big thing because this is like in the middle of arcade everyone sees you murk this kid well too deep now (laughs) I'm gonna gonna go up to to tell them if they say anything you'll fucking kill him yeah i i like point around to everybody around and it's like now everybody knows the space dragons are still in charge and then i change to my blank mask and i run away (laughs) (laughs) okay the other tough that was there uh drops everything and sprints away back down the alleys away from so do you guys go back t- to meet up at the headquarters then? Yeah, we don't need to go to the third group of toughs. I think we made our point. We beat up two guys, kill the third. They know what's up. Left plenty of people to tell the story. So you guys return to the headquarters and Maria is there and she's like, I've been looking over what our operation tales in detail. There's a lot to do. If you're trying to keep the whole thing running by yourself, you know, Max had a lot of guys, a lot of guys in that truck that all died in one moment. How many guys are in the truck? (laughs) Luigi, Mario, (laughs) Yoshi, Marcos, uh, Tony, Big Tony. Tony. (laughs) It was a clown car. Johnny Tightlip. There's a few more orders of business you should probably consider. Uh, there is, you know, we're supposed to be running a racket with a construction union here in the dome. And I guess they haven't been uh, making their payments to us, even though we help get them some of their contracts. And then some of the other smaller businesses around here, like in our district, uh, are also late on their dues, their protection dues, and might need to be reminded that they're they're still protected under the dragon base dragon family. So we need more more members. I say we go down the orphanage, get like <laughs> twenty five kids, train them to be murderers real young. You know what I'm saying? Playing the long game, but I like it. <laughs> and so I think what we need now is more respect. I think we just earned a lot of respect by. But we need more respect. <laughs> All right, let's go f- talk to this. Union guy. You know, what's uh, divide and conquer? Not that uh, you aren't the nicest fella. I mean, you are the nicest fella, but uh, you could probably deal with the construction types, and I'll go out and you know, talk to the people, see how they're feeling. What's that supposed to mean, man? <laughs> I, gotta... I go talk with the construction types? Oh, I go... Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, man. All right. I'll go. Well, I'm glad we have this little yeah. understanding then. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to go talk to the construction guy, but I'm pissed. So I'm taking that energy with me. <laughs> okay, let's do that. You guys 
take like a fucking bus or something. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm just pissed on the fucking bus, just like <laughs> to a different district of town, and you get off the bus in front of a building that houses an office that is the office for the union, the construction unit. What do you do? I am going. Do I? Oh wait, I have a name. Who we're dealing with? Yeah, there the union rep guy uh, would be Travis Green. Hut. Travis Green Hut. All right, I'm gonna go aside and talk to the receptionist and look ask for Travis Green Hut. Okay, you walk into the room and there is a there is a receptionist and there is somebody waiting in the waiting room before the office and the lady says, "How can I help you?" Yeah, I'm looking for uh, Travis Green Nuts. She's <laughs> Snickers. <laughs> oh, no, the other person in the room kind of snickers at that. And then she says, uh, Mr. Green Hut, did, did you have an appointment with him? Um, just tell him that it's, you know, a friend. Well, I, I mean, he is. We have a mutual acquaintance, Mr. Grenade. Mr. Grenade. Just tell okay. him that Mr. Grenade sent me. Okay. Uh there is someone in uh you know he's in a meeting currently he's that... gonna want to talk to me so just go in there interrupt that meeting please roll charisma eight eight is a mixed result why don't you tell me what business you have with you? i'm just gonna walk right past her and just go into the back and just start screaming sir, sir you can't you can't go in there and i'm just gonna yeah I mean, obviously, I'm stronger than her, so if she tries to stop me, I'm just doesn't physically walking. touch you. Yeah, I'm just going to keep walking in, and I am going to I'm gonna start screaming, I'm looking for green butt. Green <laughs> butt? Where's green butt? <laughs> you open the door to the next room, and it is one She's... office room. And in there is a gentleman on a big desk with the tag that says uh, green hut and he's on a like a conference call with someone (laughs) as you're yelling green but uh (laughs) and this guy says can i help you judy who is this in my office hey are you green cunt what's up (laughs) bud uh i'm in the middle i'm in the middle of a business call sir you're going to have to wait i walk up and i just hang it up or however you rip it yeah what do you think you're doing? And Judy's like, I'm sorry, he just barged his way in. And I'm going to walk over and, I, and I'm just going to come over and actually, yeah, fuck it, dude. I'm just going to go over. He's still sitting down, right? I'm just going to start punching, punching <laughs> and say, Max is dead. <laughs> I'm, we're in charge now. Max you owe us dead. money. <laughs> <laughs> And that is an 11. Oh, to beat his ass? To beat his ass. Okay. Do you want to... <laughs> are You're not... Obviously, you're not trying I'm not to... I'm to kill him. Damage to kill him, yeah. I'm just trying to... Smack him around a little. Yeah. Smack him into the deck. Scare the shit out of him so I get the money and he knows we're in charge. Contact. Judy is screaming ah, and runs <laughs> to the phone to call the police. And what are you saying to him? I'm saying, we're in charge. We want you to bring the money tonight to our headquarters or there's going to be worse things happening. And then I'm just going to get up and leave. Okay, cool. Before the cops get there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and you storm out the door and the person is like afraid in the waiting room and he's a little bashed up. And uh, Judy's on the phone with the cops and you leave and get on the next bus back towards the entertainment. <laughs> I feel a lot better, too. I got a lot of anger <laughs> out <laughs> oh, they got, on yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah. So I got him good. <laughs> and then Julian. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I walk it around the neighborhood very, like, nonchalantly. And, like, I go into the first business. So, I don't know, like a dry cleaner or something. Hello? Hello, anybody? Ho! Uh, yes, how can I help you? Well, uh, see, I, I come here not under the best of circumstances, but, uh, I represent the Space Dragons, and it's come to our attention that you might be a little behind on the protection money. No dragons no more. Dragons <laughs> dead. Now punks come through, do what they want. No protection. What punks wear? You seen blue jacket, red jacket, yellow jacket? I don't know. And and just riffraff. I've been spending my whole morning cleaning up the riffraff, and we expect some compensation. 
Roll charisma. Nine. You get rid of those guys who harass me when I close up at night and I give you money. Well, sir, you have my word that you will close up tonight without a problem. You be back here. 6.30. I'll see you then. I kind of just like go around town and like as making the same deal of like I'm not I'm not trying to rough them up and get their money from them like I'm trying I'm trying to help you help me help you all another charisma roll 12 all right so that next person's like I heard about some kid being killed in the market and what of what of it? puts the money on the counter we don't want any of that kind of trouble here well you you got you have my word we will turn this district into a respectable part of society on the space dragon's honor what little honor we have so that uh roll another one for me roll <laughs> one more like a third bowl we'll suck. nine that person physically is just trying to get you to help in their business they're like oh can you hand me that over there can you Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So about that protection, buddy. Yep. And then hold this while I screw this. Yeah, so, like, the, you know, the Space Dragons does a lot to, like, help the community. And, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your, okay, your now, payments. It's on top of that. Uh, yeah. Oh, right, right. Your payments help support uh, for your protection. So, uh, you know, everybody's safe. We want everybody to be safe. So if you put up with this lady's shit and help her build this display at the end, he pays you the money to protect you. Yeah, yeah. And then I head back to the first guy's place and I wait for ruffians to show up. Well, it happens like he says. About the time he starts to turn off the lights in his business, a few guys come out of, three guys come out of like the alley. And as he's coming out the door, he starts to lock up. These men will start walking over to him like, Hey, old man, uh, it's time to pay your slice. As a, I put on my demon mask, and I I just make eye contact with the biggest one. And okay. says, he will do no such thing. So, as I recall, the fear spell is like they either run from you or attack you. Yeah. Is how that works? So, odds or evens? Uh, odds. This guy stops dead in his tracks and kind of taps one of the other guys on the shoulder. And she goes. That's, that's one of the dragons. They killed Marty today. They killed Marty in the street. He's like, what? Oh, shit. And the, the biggest guy turns and runs away. And the other guys, two guys pause. And the, the second guy runs away. And the third guy's just like, fuck. And chases after them. <laughs> and the old guy goes up to you. He's like, oh, that, that mask. Who are you? No one. And I walk away. And the slight breeze blows up the dust. And I'm wearing a cape for some reason. <laughs> and it billows. Well, we are capes. I'm, I'm, a, a, cape. I'm a space dragon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then the next day, that man pays him. <laughs> so you guys end up back at headquarters after your missions? I assume. Yeah. So yeah we'll, we'll meet up. Uh, well, how to, how to go with Green Hut? Uh, um, he got the message. I think we'll be getting our payment very soon. Oh, uh, I hope so. Well, in the meantime, and I throw down my collections, like, this should hold us up for a while. 